Hi guys, it is the 17th of December. I've just had Jerry open up day 17 on the Beholder's Gaze one, just to speed this up a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, it's my last day of work before Christmas today. And we had like a non-uniform day at school where everyone wore Christmas jumpers or Christmas hats. And obviously because I've been wearing a Christmas jumper, Pretty much since we started December. I wore my Christmas dress instead. We just got little cute faxies and Christmas presents and twees. So yeah. Um I think it's from Lady V or Lady Vintage. Um yeah. So I have done no crochet. <laughs> I have even brought home two boxes of work to mark. And I've got loads of um, all of our all of our books for Kids Day have a front cover, so I need to write all of those up for all of my Year Sevens. Um, so that is pretty much the only work work I'm going to do over Christmas. Um, but yeah, so should we get stuff open? And <laughs> um, my son has also reminded me today that I am meant to be taking him to see his girlfriend tomorrow so that means I have a whole day well not a whole day but most of a day to myself in blue water so I've decided that I'm going to take myself to the cinema just because so I'm going to see what's on go and um, watch a movie or two um, because today was payday so yay I have money and at last I have gone up a pay scale, which means I get a little bit more. <laughs> so, Christmas should be okay this year. Um, still haven't actually bought any Christmas presents though. Yeah, right. Um, hmm. I am going to take my crochet with me as well, so that if I do have time in between stuff, then I will find somewhere to sit and crochet. Might even get a couple of Christmas presents while I'm there, but we shall see, because I don't really want to carry them around everywhere with me. But then if I'm going to be there all day, I could just put them in the car. So yeah. Anyway, that's tomorrow's plans. So no brekkie tomorrow um, with Emma, and no visit in the yarn shop either, sadly. Mm. Um, but I am going to go to the yarn shop on Wednesday. So... Um, don't know if I'll get any footage of that because it might be quite busy. <laughs> we'll see. I have I have planned to basically be there all day <laughs> from the minute it opens. I want to just sit in the corner and crochet. So that is my plan. Um <sighs> Yeah, it is ten to eight. I'm filming now because I need to go back to Sainsbury's. I need to go to Sainsbury's. Um to get the last couple of bits for Emma's advent and yeah <laughs> so I'm going to show you the dice first that Jerry opened which is I think the last one with this set it is a d12 which is the one we were missing so I think that is now finished I also have number 17 out for Bumble and Yarns so let's open that one up Oh, that's a really nice blue. It's like blues and greys. That's really nice. All of these are really nice. Even though they are all completely different and don't really work together as such. They're really good. They're really nice um, colourways. So there's that one. We'll do this one while we are here. So day 17 of the trade and tested is the D6 for the metallic one, rainbow metallic, which I do love. Um, so I think that set is almost finished now as well. I think there's 20, there's 24 on this one. I actually have, Excuse me. Um, so in the Bumbling Yarns one, there's also a day 25. 
and there's a day 25 on the Crash's Society one as well. So the dice one are only 24, the yarn ones are 25. <laughs> so you may see me on Christmas Day as well. <laughs> um, so day 17. This one. Oh, it was grey. I think is this L grey? No, humbug. We haven't had this one before. This is humbug. And oh, there's a teeny tiny stitch marker in here. Let's have a look. Oh, it's like a little jar, like a little sweetie jar. Little sweetie jar. There we go. So that one as well. So that is all of the main advents that I have. So, hmm. I'm going to do this one. So this is the one from Emma. Ooh, Imperial leather. It's got the posh stuff. <laughs> Foam malicious marshmallow. Oh, I've just ripped this. It might have had the full. Um, it did have the. Oh, I'm going to have to reopen that one. That's got the full size pattern for the um, the bow. So this is Imperial leather. It says Mellow Mason. What does it smell like? Oh, it does smell like marshmallow. It smells like Sweeties. Mm. So I might have to, um, as soon as my shower dress finished, I might have to use this one. That's really sweet. That's nice. So that's everything in terms of Advent. Um, there are a couple of things I wanted to show you though, because we have just broken up from school. And <sighs> cannot wait for a rest. One of my um, former students gave me a little baggie with this penguin on, and it's got three tears and socks. I've already had a Milky Way out of it, um, but there are a couple of other sweets in there as well. And I think I can, I'm going to use that again next year, I think, as well. That's really sweet. <laughs> we also got. Marshmallow lollipop, <laughs> which is a reindeer. Love that. So there's that. Also, one of my students made me something. Not entirely sure what it is or what I can use it for, but they have made it themselves. So I'm going to see what I can fit in it. And yeah, put it to good use. I feel very privileged to have something made for me by one of my students instead of the other way around for once. Which is nice. Um, also, I received a gift from Eva, who um, organises the Perth Festival of Yarn. Perth Festival of Yarn? Perth Festival of Yarn? Um, and she sent me skein of yarn and it's chunky I've not had this before superwash merino wool and it's by the game of gamer crafting yeah I don't have anything from gamer crafting yet I don't think um I do have some minis I believe from her blanket club from Sophie at the beginning of the year but this is the first proper skein and it's a really special skein of yarn, so it's got to be an equally special project. So thank you so much, Ava, and I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Um, I have very much enjoyed supporting the Perth Festival of Yarn this year, especially with the Collab Club and the fact that I'm not local to Perth, so couldn't actually go this year because of work commitments. And maybe one year i will get up there but it's nice to um live vicariously for everybody else i guess um 
yeah, it's really nice to just be a part of it with purchasing the Colab Club yarns. So, yeah. And it is continuing next year as well, the Colab Club. So, the it's currently open for the first instalment. So, January's instalment is currently open now. Um, and next year is based on album covers. So, you don't get to see the yarn, but you get to see the album cover that's inspired it first. So it's going to be a true surprise next year. And I'm really looking forward to joining that as well. Right. Now I have been on here for just over 10 minutes. I need to get my butt to Sainsbury's. Um, we've had dinner. So that's one thing less to do today. But I need to go to Sainsbury's. Pick up a couple more gifts. Maybe even get a few more gifts on top of that. And then I've got to come home. Wrap them up. And wrap up the gift we bought Jerry's girlfriend as well <laughs> so that is my evening if um if I get all that done I'm sitting in bed with D&D &D on and I'm going to do some crochet as well so I will see you again tomorrow at some point <laughs> take care